Okay, well, welcome to a glorious Saturday morning and another instalment of Inside London Scottish. And I'm delighted to have been joined by Jim Thompson. Jim, welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning as well. It's a glorious day. Now, we're about uh, something like uh, three and a half hours away from kickoff. You're playing today. Big game today. Yeah, it is a big game. Yeah, we've. Uh had a kind of up and down start to the season which um, we've been good at home and not very good away so um, yeah we're looking to put in a good performance today against the Cornish Pirates and uh, hopefully get a good win. Now you said we've had some great home form I mean you think about it the Falcons uh, we've beaten Rotherham we've beaten Doncaster and those performances have just shown some great grit and determination haven't they so what what is it about the away games that we're having problems with do you think? Yeah, I'm not too sure I think it might be maybe in our heads a wee bit um, yeah I mean we can uh, hang in for a bit and then we can uh, let a few soft tries in like we did against Nottingham last week and and then the next thing you know, you know you're kind of 20 points down and you're chasing the game and then you know they score a few more so I don't know what it is it's obviously it's great playing at home in front of your home fans but um, you know we need to pick up points on the road as well which is uh, important to how we do uh, for the rest of the season. And I don't think we can sit now on the excuse of well we've 13 new signings it seems that everyone's fitting in now really well yourself included. Just for everyone at home who might not realise, tell us a little bit about your pedigree, your background, the places you've played before coming here. Um, well, I played for Edinburgh for fi five years before this. Um, I was quite a kind of late developer. I uh, only turned pro when I was 22. I joined the Edinburgh Rugby Academy. Uh, did a year there playing Scotland Sevens for the, for the season, which kind of helps your game enormously when you're a young guy. And then I played four years uh, for Edinburgh, which was, which was great. Um, I played, I think, about 10, 11 times for Scotland Day. Uh, and I've sat on the bench for for Scotland, but I didn't I didn't get on on a tour tour of Argentina, which was a shame. But um, yeah, great experiences, and um, and then yeah, I I thought it was a it was about time to to move at the end of last season, and uh, thankfully London Scottish came in, and it's a great club to join. I'm really enjoying it. And being Scottish, of course, it make you very proud to play for London Scottish. Just what's what's the difference you've noticed between the rugby style? Is there a difference between style of rugby that you noticed in Scotland to down here? Um, there's, there's not a huge amount. The good thing about London Scottish, very similar to Edinburgh, they like to throw the ball around, they like to play an attractive game at a high tempo, which uh, suits me, suits uh, uh, Phil Godman who came down from um, Edinburgh as well. So um, we've got a good forward pack here with a solid scrum, um, a lot of good players, forwards and backs. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a game that can kind of enjoy playing at high tempo and it's also good to watch as well for, from a spectator's point of view. Now you mentioned you played for Scotland Sevens and I've come across you at Sevens as well. And it, it, fantastic experience playing that, doing that world tour and so on. Of course, you know, all your mates have just jetted off to Australia with the, the season starting next week. Did that give you a lot of confidence as a player? It did, yeah. I mean, Sevens is great because you're, you know, you're playing in front of huge crowds, um, testing your skills out against some of the... Quick and highly accountable, of course. Oh, of course, yes. I mean, it's, uh, if you make a mistake, you're, you know, usually you get done for. So uh, Sevens is great. I mean, I... I, I I really enjoy playing it and it's great for your fitness, for your skills um, and all that kind of stuff and just for developing, especially as a young player. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a tough, it's a tough game to play but it's very, also very enjoyable and getting to tour the world with uh, 11 of your mates is, uh, is always a good experience and um, yeah, it's something I, I really enjoy doing. And I know having worked at some of the tournaments that um, grudges get taken around by teams as well through the, throughout the tournament. So, I mean, you can get some pretty testy games, can't you? You can, yeah. It's, it's very physical sevens as well. I mean, uh, when I started playing it five years ago to what it is now, it's so much more physical. And, uh, you know, after a weekend of sevens, you're, you know, you're, you're usually pretty sore and pretty tired and uh, you take a lot of contacts. Uh, you have to make a lot of tackles, a lot of one-on-one -on -one tackles. Um, so it's good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, when you're, when you're up against teams... Uh, throughout the weekend and the following weekend at another tournament you know you uh, you know there's some pretty tasty matches which is always enjoyable to watch and play in. Now looking at your own position in 15s and so on uh, you know I've seen you playing at fullback I've seen you playing in the centre what's your preferred position? Uh, I'm mainly a fullback I, I uh, yeah I'm kind of seen as a fullback but I can also cover and I can play in the wing and at 13 and um, yeah I mean I enjoy it's just good to be playing and I never really complain too much about being played in a different position so uh, yeah it's good to play at 13 but also uh, my main position is, is fullback but I'm you know, obviously happy to fill in when needed. Now turning to you as, as uh, the man as opposed to the player and so on, you've recently got married and you, you've moved down to London, how's that all been for you? Yeah it's been great, I'm really enjoying London actually, I uh, moved to Twickenham which is great, it's just five minutes down the road from from training and from Richmond which is great and uh, yeah I got married which is, which is, which is good and um, 
Uh, yeah. I know you're struggling a little bit with that marriage because you actually introduced your new wife as your girlfriend the other day. How did that go down at home? Um, yeah, it probably didn't go down too well, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, I just got to get used to it, I suppose, yeah. And I uh, also forgot to put my, put my ring on today as well, which obviously will not go down too well, but uh, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, Linz has moved down and she's a nurse and she's got a job down here and starting in well. And um, it's a great place to live down here. A bit different from Edinburgh. It's a lot bigger, um, but uh, there's a lot more to do. And um, I got, got to go and see uh, Arsenal Chelsea on Saturday. I support Arsenal, which is great. So Was that their end of season dinner as well? <laughs> it wasn't, unfortunately. But it was, uh, unfortunately, we lost to Chelsea, but it was great to be there. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. It's a lot warmer down here as well. It's, you know, it's uh, standard procedure that way. And it makes a huge difference. You know, you can see I've got a great tan still, uh, <laughs> still from the summer. The so tartan tan. Tartan tan. So, uh, so yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's good to really enjoy it. And, and uh, look, look I, I hope you don't mind me bringing this up. Obviously, your dad is someone that people may not appreciate. He's the great Derek Thompson, the Tomo, as it were. Are you Tomo too? What's your nickname? Um, I've got a few. I got a new nick nickname down here, actually. Um, can we actually say it? Is it clean? I, I, is it? I, I, probably not. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I, yeah, I get called Tomo Junior sometimes, and uh, JT and stuff like that. And you know, it's uh, the boys have got another nickname for me, but I don't think I can say that. Probably not. If you if you ask him after a game, he might sort of uh, give you that information. Look, finally, um, without giving too big of an advert, I know you, this whole thing about budgie smuggler and tweeting and so on. What is this all about? Well, <laughs> These are a pair of uh, our tartan budgie smugglers, actually. They're, um, a lot of the boys play in them, and we're actually going to be doing a London Scottish calendar. Um, all the boys are getting pretty much stripped off in their budgie smugglers. Um, it's going to be coming out, obviously, just before. Uh, Would you want me in that or not? Um, well, it's may maybe. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll look into it. Uh, but, it's, yeah, they're great, great to play, and a lot of the guys play in them. Um, I'm kind of promoting the UK side from a few mates in Australia. And, uh, yeah, they're good to play in, and... Um, yeah, they're, they seem to be doing well. So from Australia, are they very big down under? Very big, yeah. Uh, very, very popular. Uh, that's why we're trying to promote over here. And they come in lots of different colours and, and, and sizes and all that. And we even got Colin Quigley in a pair the other day, which is... Uh, so they do extra, cool. extra large then? Uh, extra, extra, extra large like it was. <laughs> yeah, so they're very good. Listen, yeah. Tom, it's great to have you in the club. It's great to see you around. And I know, you know, people really appreciate your style of play and the enthusiasm you bring. And certainly your dad brings when he comes down here. He's so passionate and enthusiastic. Long may it last. Thanks for showing us your budgie smugglers. And uh, good luck today, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers.